Hi, this is Kendra from Pencil and Pigment, and today I'm doing a video of a book I picked up from our local library. This one is called Art in a Box, and 30 Creative Projects in Mixed Media Assemblage, and this is by Maris Merrill, and this was published in November of 2019. And I just really wanted to show this book to you. I looked on YouTube and it doesn't look like anybody has ever shared this book before. So this is kind of exciting to be able to add a video to YouTube that doesn't exist. And there are 30 projects in here where you can make things. Now these are sort of a 3D shadow box, sort of Joseph Cornell type art pieces that are really, really cool. So they have all the tools. It looks like toolbox. It looks like art supplies. It looks like things with book binding. It's amazing. And then all the scrap found items you could muster. So old toys, leaves, sticks, matchbox, keys, spools, marbles, stickers, old books, maps, papers. And then they show how to build boxes in this book. And I just think this is really, really incredible. So if you are doing a no buy like myself, if you are receiving boxes from ordering things online, um, we get all our vitamins and toiletry products um, shipped to us. These things could be made from cardboard, refitting cardboard, glue gun, paper. These are beautiful. And it shows how to make this and fold the paper and put it. That's just really, really cool. It's really beautiful. This one actually looks like foam core, which I don't have and I can't purchase because I'm currently doing a no buy for the year. But I could absolutely do cardboard and I could paint the cardboard either with some of my acrylic paint, some wall primer paint, or I could cover it with white printer paper. These are teeny tiny boxes they use to create these little shadow box effects. This is just really, really a beautiful book. And here's how they did sort of a three-dimensional pop-up. It's really, really cool. This book is beautiful. Very step-by-step -step instructions. If you are interested in this book, <clears throat> I would highly recommend you contact your library and see what their purchasing program is and see if you can get them to pick up this book because it's phenomenal and it would add to your community. And they did sort of like little poles and wires and hung things from those. And that's really neat. Here's string. You could use kite string, dental floss, baker's twine, any found item. Here's cardboard. And they kept the corrugated raw edge and that's beautiful. Old letters, notes. Look at the back, it's all stitched. That looks really cool. And this is all monochromatic, so they did all blue items. <clears throat> you could do something from a walk. You could do a memory box of a loved one. Here's pencils, art supplies, that they chose to, that would look really, really cool hanging in an artist's studio. Really beautiful. And here it looks like blue thread they created like a fish type C. Here is how they created an arched shelf within this box. And that's beautiful too. That's a really cool idea. Um, if you like the idea of entomology and pinned insects, but don't want to actually hurt them or don't have these in your area, <clears throat> because the way to sort of preserve these is very specific, you could print, you could print insects on your printer and create sort of a faux, faux pinned insect shadow box and that would look really neat. Here's old postage stamps, that's beautiful. Here's cut items and they used pins. So if you have pins from sewing, you could make one, you could cut. Um, if you have wire snippers, you can cut paper clips and things like that. Here's found feathers, that's beautiful. They have little fabric swatches using this, this uh, sort of accordion fold. Very cool. 
all these different projects. These are little tiny jars that they filled with different items. I apologize, the sun's doing kind of wonky stuff right now with the clouds and the wind. <laughs> so it's really changing the lighting. This is beautiful. It just looks really neat. If you're into sort of monochromatic, if you like decorating with nature items, if you like the simplicity of that, it's very beautiful and relaxing to look at art that looks like that. Here they created sort of vellum pockets and tucked things in. Tracing paper would work. Very cool. All these different projects in this book. Here's like silhouettes. If you like that whole sort of shadow puppet look. It's very beautiful. And here they have tins and sort of cigar boxes. So if you have little wooden boxes for different things, and maybe breath mint tins or Altoid tins. Some of those would work to make little miniature displays. And take your art pieces with you in your pocket. That's beautiful. You could even add some of your own illustrations and paintings to these art pieces to create your own 3D ones. See, these look like little mint tins. These are very cool. When you could decoupage them. There's all kinds of ideas. These look like sea glass. That's really pretty. If you want to build a house out of foam core, it looks like. Here they use cardboard. I have all the pieces and all the different ideas. This book is really neat. It's very inspiring. If you're looking to do mixed media for the month of March, that is one of the challenges. Um, this could be a great inspiring book to look at, to give you ideas. Again, our, our sun in the clouds right now with the wind is kind of wild. And here's the gallery. <clears throat> are really cool. They drew on leaves. You can illustrate on leaves. So just be very, very careful. Um, you can flatten them in sort of a flower press or under some books in between wax paper or tissue paper. You don't even have to put it in a box. You can make your own sort of brochure. That's really cool. Your own style of book. These are beautiful. This looks like it was cut from sort of graph paper. And these look like found items and bits of wrappers and torn paper. That's really neat. I will link this book in the description box below. Again, if you're curious and want to see this in person, ask your contact your local library. Tell them to pick this book up. This book is very, very beautiful. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye.